I'm Tasha from Bloom Hair Studio. I'm here with my lovely sister Nicole and her lovely head of hair, of course. Look at this hair. I love it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do your hair in an updo. It's going to be great for prom season, wedding season, whether you're a bride or a bridesmaid or attending a wedding or you just want to go out at night and be a little bit more fancy and try something new with your hair. I'm going to show you an easy new look, okay? All right, so first off, you want to have some kind of um, texture in the hair. I've done Nicole's hair with a little bit of curl in it. And if you want to see exactly how I got this look with Nicole's hair without using a curling iron or a flat iron of any kind, you can look to my previous video. I'll put the link below. Otherwise, you can start with your hair however you want to get this texture. So we're going to start by sectioning the, off the hair in front of the ears and leaving that till last. So all we're going to do is put this hair in a low ponytail like this to start. Alright, so I want a little bit of volume, so I'm going to back comb this whole crown area. Up to you if you want this volume or not. And just lightly comb over it. There we go. Now all we're going to do is do a traditional bun. Nothing too fancy here. Just going to wind Nicole's hair up like this and pin it in place kind of like so. Just put pins all around it to secure it. I'm going to do that first. So first step done, pretty easy so far. Now if you wanted to, if you feel more comfortable taking the ponytail and doing a sock bun, a low sock bun, you can do that too, that'll work. All right, so now with these pieces that we've left behind, we're gonna use them now. So all I'm gonna do is drape this piece kind of over like this to cover this bobby pinning that we've done there. And pin it there and pin it there just to hold it in place. All right, so we can spray as we go. So I've draped that piece over, put a pin over here, put a pin over here. I'm gonna spray it. I want that piece to lay right about there. And I'm gonna keep pulling up this volume that I want to make sure it doesn't go flat and wonky. So now I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Now see I have more hair on this side. Either I've parted it wrong and taken more hair to begin with or Nicole has more hair on one side than the other which is really common. So I'm going to do this one in two pieces. I'm going to take one piece, twist it and I'm going to pin it like that and then I'm going to take the other one and do the same thing. So I put two pins in, one over here and one over here, and I'm going to spray it again. And then this piece is a longer piece, so I've draped it over this way and now we're left with this hangy piece here. So I'm actually just going to wind it up and pin it right like that. 
So you can really see what kind of look you want while you're placing these pieces. You can see whether you want it, everything to be really low and soft, or whether you want to change the profile of the whole look a little bit and drape it up here. I think I'm gonna do it up here on Nicole. I'm gonna pin it this way. So here's our finished look. I'm gonna give it a final spray. And always, always remember, no two updos are gonna look the same. Yours is gonna look different than mine. And that's quite all right. All right guys, thank you for watching this super simple updo. I hope you have fun with it at home. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear them. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my videos in general, you can subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And I'll see you next time.